Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I'm bringing you a super cute video. Clove, my rat turned two. We did celebrate on the day, but I didn't get a chance to make her like an actual cake like I did last year for my rat's birthday. So we're making one today and I'm gonna share the recipe with you guys. It's super cute, super easy, and yeah, it's rat friendly. One of the things that I mentioned last year was that the cake should only be given to them as a treat because it's full of sugar. The one I'm making today is specifically for rats anyway. So let's go get into the recipe. So for today's recipe you're gonna need a piece of bread, a bottle cap, a knife, a plastic bag and some coconut cream. Coconut cream is safe for rats, you just want to make sure you don't give them too much because they'll become little fatties. <laughs> and a strawberry also, I forgot to put that in the little flat lay thing. So the first step you're gonna do is you cut out two little cakes using a bottle cap. <laughs> Next we're gonna cut up some strawberry into some small little pieces and put them inside a plastic bag and then we're gonna give them a good smoosh around. This is going to make a red dye. I don't want to use food colouring because I don't know if it's safe for rats, but strawberry is. Then I'm going to put some coconut cream in the bag as well. Give it a good smoosh around again. So then it should become a pinkish colour. And then I'm going to cut the tiniest little bit off the corner so it becomes like a mini piping bag. Then on the first bit of bread, we're going to put a little bit of the strawberry jam, I, sh so I should say in the middle to spread it around and then we're going to put our next piece of cake on top to create an icing kind of look i'm going to use the coconut cream to like put it all over the cake i spread it around with like the back of the spoon i think it's the easiest tool that i found then i'm going to cut up the strawberry into the little wedge triangle shapes these are like to mimic what tiny little strawberries would look like and then we very carefully place them on top of the cake and then I use the same piping bag to place a little bits of a little dollop of cream in between the little triangles and some in the middle and decorate it with some strawberry leaves and yeah that's pretty much how to make it. It's pretty simple. You could even eat it if you want to. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend soggy bread, it's not my kind of thing. <laughs> now we'll go see if Clove likes it. Hey Clovey. <laughs> Sorry, I jump in. Oh, you like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you also subscribe down below if you haven't already because I would love to have you join the family. And I'll see you guys next week in a new video. Bye! This end screen is dedicated to Clove. I miss you so much, babe. If you want to know why I don't have rats anymore, you can click this card.